Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about programming custom outputs using our AIM Infinity. So when we were in our previous videos in this training course, we took a look at our basic output control, looking at our fuel pump control, a coolant fan control, or even a boost solenoid. So those are all gonna be outputs that we can define in our output section out of our drop-down menu. Now, if we're not looking to use maybe the eight or 10 predefined output style controls from AEM, we can jump into our general purpose that's gonna allow us to have a whole bunch of configurability in our axes in our actual control table so we can define it based on all kinds of different parameters. So if we wanna turn on maybe a secondary fuel pump, we wanna turn it on in boost pressure and based on throttle, we can do that. And we need to understand how the control is gonna work. So I'm gonna go through a fresher with the outputs in this particular video. We're gonna go over uh, the low side output, the high side outputs, going over the on off control and the pulse width modulated control. Then we're gonna take a look at some specific examples of more common things we can use our custom outputs for. So it's gonna get you thinking and working with the custom outputs. And if you wanna control something that we don't talk about in this video, you'll be able to understand exactly what to do and accomplish that goal or that task with your infinity. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at programming and working with custom outputs using our AM Infinity. Now, earlier in the training course, we had a video that was covering how to work with our basic output functionality, turning on a fuel pump, a coolant fan, pulse width modulated output for boost control or for idle control solenoid. Now we're gonna take a specific look at working with some custom programming on the outputs. If we wanna turn on a second fuel pump, maybe when we get into boost, or to control a second boost solenoid, there's gonna be all kinds of situations and conditions that we might wanna work with custom outputs we're gonna explore that in this video. I'll show you some common examples that I work with when I'm programming and working with the AIM Infinity. Now, first and foremost, before we begin the video, the layout that I'm working with here is gonna be the AM710 layout. So it's their default layout. We can find that we have two different output pages here. We have our output tab. These are gonna be all of the low side outputs, high side outputs here in one page, and we can find the remaining low side outputs here in another page. So this is going all the way up here to LS9. I am working with an AM710 box. If you're working with a 506 or 508 box, you'll have less output. So you may not be using and working with the additional tables they have populated here. In fact, they might not even be present when you're trying to connect and uh, look at these in your uh, particular file you're working with. So um, let's jump in right now and talk about the basic functionality of our outputs. Now, again, we've covered this already, but I just wanna briefly brush up on this so we understand how this works moving into the custom outputs. So it's gonna make a lot more sense. Let's jump in here to wizards go here to setup wizard. We're gonna go down here into our outputs. We can find here that we have a low side output and a high side output. The low side output is gonna be sending a ground out to control a device. The high side is gonna be sending a 12 volt out. So it's gonna be the difference of the two different types of control we have here. The low side is gonna be more common. And you'll also see that we have a lot more low side outputs available here. Looking down our list, we're gonna find that we have um, all the way down here to low side output nine. So essentially we have 10 low side outputs on the 710 box. And we only have three high side outputs because the high side is gonna be a little bit less frequently used. A high side output would be controlling something like a VTEC solenoid. That's gonna be more kind of a common uh, usage for a high side output. The low side will be able to ground a relay to turn a device on like a fuel pump or a coolant fan relay. It could also be used to turn on a check engine light here. We can see our low side output set on mill output. We also see it can be used for something like boost control or idle control or variable cam solenoid. So there's gonna be all kinds of things that we're using the low side output, but the low side is gonna be the more common one that we get we use and, and we work with. Now in this, we have two different styles of control for either the low side or the high side. We're gonna find that we have a uh, simple on off. So it's gonna be turning the device on or off, or it's gonna be pulse width modulating it. It's gonna be sending a frequency aspect out in a zero to 100% scale. So zero would be off, 100 would be on, 50% would be controlling the device at 50% of the duty cycle. So it would be driving it, let's say at half speed or uh, half of uh, the operating of that particular device. So a boost solenoid, 50% would be pulsing the solenoid so that it would flow 50% of the airflow to the wastegate, um, just kind of for reference sake. So we'll have our two different types of control. Let's talk about the first type here, the basic on off style control here. So if I toggle on uh, my low side output window here, we're gonna find this is gonna be associating with our LS0 table. Now in our table, we'll find we have either a- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't wanna miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.